what is up in W Sports has Hunt here? I know we've been posting a lot lately for uh, March Madness, but honestly, I want to do something a little different today, and I'm going to be doing a, well, what I could find. I looked up the hardest March Madness quiz, and this is the first one that popped up. So let's just get right into it, and let's get started. Okay. I've not done this yet, so um, let's do it. All right. What popular move was banned from college basketball in 1967 to be reinstated in 1976? I know this one because Kareem, I read the book Becoming Kareem, and he is the reason that rule was made. So it is the slam dunk. Yes, sir, that is correct. Okay. Who's the all-time leading NCAA Division one score. I do not know this. I want to say Pete Maravich, but it... let's go Pete Maravich. Let's go. Actually, let's go. I knew it because he was, yeah, he played for, um, what? Long standing. What, what team did he play for? Huh? Yeah. It was before the three point line, but um, darn it, I can't find what team he played for. Really impressive, Murray's played. Oh, he played LSU. They're in the bracket. They're an eight seed this year. All right, next question. Here we go. What was the first NCAA men's basketball championship? Where where was the first NCAA um basketball tournament held? Um. Championship help. I kind of want to say Freedom Hall. I just it just sounds like a name I remember. No, it was wrong. It was the Patterson Gymnasium, the Patton Gymnasium. It's in Illinois, but yeah. All right, next one. What did NC NBA great Larry Bird play for? Wait, what school did M, um Larry Bird play for in the NCAA? I know this one. Michigan State. No, he played for Indiana State. I knew that too. I was thinking of um, dude, I was thinking of Magic Johnson for some reason. I have no idea why. He literally played against Magic Johnson in the championship. I get y'all. Oh, darn, I should got that. That's my bad. What was the first team in the NCAA, men, NCAA men's basketball history to start five American players? African American. Oh, I know this. Texas Western. No wait. Yeah, Texas. Who? Um, Blue Road. Great movie. One of my, my favorite basketball movie, and definitely one of my favorite movies of all time. I almost said Texas Christian, but that was like no, I don't know. All right. Which school's father son coach player duo? I mean, coach player duo drew up the greatest last second play, be to be Ole Miss. In the opening round of the tournament in 1998. DePaul. I want to say Richmond or DePaul. Let's go to DePaul. No, it was that. I didn't even know that. All right, let's go to the next question. Okay. Which 15th seed underdogs upset a number two seed, Arizona, in 1993? Was it Santa Clara? Yeah, it can't be gone. Yeah, it has to be Santa Clara. Yeah, because all these would usually make it, maybe not really say it, but these two would for sure make it always. So, yeah, I was just, all right. What name did Arkansas give to its um, pressure defense um, style during the 1990s? Hmm. Pressure cooker? 40, 45 minutes of hell? Who I want to say is pressure cooker, but no, it's the forty-five minutes of hell. Uh, which team won ten out of twelve titles from? Oh, I, I don't even need to finish it. It's USCLA. Yep, I told you, John Wooden. What team won the won two consecutive Final Four titles in nineteen ninety one, nineteen nine, and nineteen ninety two? The first to do this since nineteen ninety seven. Uh, Duke or yeah, Duke. Right? No, I want to say Indiana. No, it's Duke. Yep. Let's go. What year? What year saw seven players from the final four get drafted into the NBA? I want to say 1992. Oh, 1996. 
Darn it. Okay. Which 1980, 1980s team was known as... Wait, which 1980 team was known as the Doctors the doctors of the Dunk? Ooh, I'm pretty sure I know this one. And I'm pretty... It was either I... One of these three, and I'm if I had to lose, I'm going to be pretty mad. But I think... It was Cincinnati. No, Louisville. Of course it was. Darn it. Um, I don't know why. I did not know that one. What team shares the second place second place with Duke for the most consecutive Final Four appearances after UCLA? I don't know actually if this is up to date or not, but um like um this test. But um I don't know. Um Ooh, what should I pick? Wait, with appearances at Final Four. After, uh, I want to say Kentucky. Kinetic? Cincinnati? What non-sports related event led the to the elimination of a third place game in the Final Four? Yeah, it has to be. Yeah, it had to, what? Oh, the Reagan assassination attempt. Oh, yeah, I should have known that. Who is the only coach to win both an NCAA and an NBA title? Oh, I know this is Pat Riley. Larry, I didn't see, I should have read that. Darn it, dude, darn it. Which, what do the 1985 Villanova team and 1988 Kansas team and 1983 NCAA NC State team have in common. I have no idea because I wasn't even alive here then. But um, I just want to guess here. Um, oh, it was the one I had it on the whole time. No. What is the only team to have scored a hundred points in a final? Ugh. It's probably gonna be a weird one, but I'm gonna go with UCLA. Yeah, I told you. I am not gonna get that. Next up, what player scored the most points in a Final Fours game? I'm almost a positive it was JJ, but it might have been one of these two. I was it Bill Wall? I'm gonna say Carmelo. Yeah, it was Bill Wall. I just I was I don't know that stuff. A while. All right, what team was number was number one seed three years ago, three years in a row, in the 1980s without winning a single game? What? How does that work? DePaul? DePaul is... That's weird, but okay. Okay, what team... What early NCAA championship team was nicknamed Tall Fires? It was either it was Kentucky or Oregon. Hmm. Did not know that. Which um who was chosen NCAA Player of the Year in nineteen eighty five despite averaging only fourteen point six points a game? Uh, I don't know. Mm. No, Patrick Ewing was on. He was dominating when he was there. Um, probably Char- it's gonna be Patrick Ewing though. Yeah, so I thought, um, because he was average, just he was just dominating down low. But yeah, right. which player earned the Final Four MVP honors in 1983 despite playing for a losing team? I'm almost positive it was Patrick Ewing. No, so team, what? Was the first conference to have three teams in a, the final four? Wasn't they SEC? Yeah, SEC. Big East. Oh, who was it? St. John's, Georgetown, Villanova. Okay, St. John's. What was the first NCAA men's basketball championship team to finish the season undefeated? Well, I'm probably, it was UCLA, but 
it's Gonzaga too. No, San Francisco. But you, yeah, Gonzaga did it. Um, whose famous NBA rivalry rivalry with Larry Bird began in night and oh, I don't even need I just need to go here. Yep. Results. Let's see how I did. History enthusiast, not bad. Okay. All right. I got, you got 9 out of 20. I only got 9 out of 25. Ugh, it's actually not that good. All right, we're going to go back here. All right. We're going to go hardest March Madness quizzes. Hardest March Madness quizzes. Let's see. I want to see the one that was like. Okay. Um. Hmm. Yeah. Let's do this one. It's the second one. Okay. Let's do it. All right. Nope. This is not what I want. Um. Yeah. Quiz. Oh, okay, here we go. Here's one. This is from 2013. It's definitely not up to date, but it's an older one. It's okay, though. All right. What year did March Madness begin? This is only a 10-question one, so after this, yeah, this is, I'm going to end the video. But this is a 10-question one. What year did March Madness begin? 1925. Let's see. Let's see. All right. 1939. Okay, let's see if I can do better this time. All right. Is the term March Madness based on a phrase, mad as March, a March hair? No. That's why I'm going to be yes, but ugh, of course it's yes. Like, I don't know this stuff. Like, I don't like, what? How many teams complete during, how many teams complete during the, Three-week elimination tournament for college basketball championship. Oh, 64, 68, yeah. 68 teams. Let's go. Okay. Next up. Okay. What college has more wins than any other school in history of the NCAA March Madness? Oh, it's probably Villain UCLA. Yeah, UCLA, right? Oregon. Uh, I don't know. UCLA, come on. Let's go, baby. Okay, in which state was March Madness born? Indiana. Oh, Illinois. Darn it, dude. Okay. What is another name for March Madness tournament? The Big Dance. I know that one. If it says no, I'm mad. Okay, yeah, good. So, okay. Um... No, 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 number seven. Who won the first 19th? I'm going to say uh, Texas. Oregon won the first. Wow. I should know that, but I did not. Is the last team from the Big Ten Conference to win a championship in what year? Um, 1995. Yeah, I think it was 19 or I think, yeah, it was 2000. That's what I was trying to say, but darn it. Um. The all-time scoring record by a freshman for one game during the Final Four is 34 points. Was it? Craig Oden. I feel like it would be, like, a lot there because... Oh, by a freshman. I feel like it was mellow, but... I... Yeah, I think it's mellow. Darn it, it was Mark Squire. I thought it would be, like, a later, but maybe not. All right. All right. Last one. Players from what school held the three of the top four game? Oh, Duke. UCLA. I did not do good on that quiz. I did not do good at all. View my results. You're going to see. See, this is hard because I'm, like, way younger, and these things are way better. But, uh. Yeah, okay. I'm going to probably do another one of these soon. It, it was fun. But, um, yeah, um, subscribe. Your team will lose. 
if you don't subscribe, just subscribe, like, post, and um, hit that no post notifications 